Hi, this is Donnie Eisenbach again. Today I want to talk to you about how to make money using TweetDeck configured with your Twitter account. Um, in previous videos I showed you how to install TweetDeck, configure it, configure it with your Twitter account, and even post some tweets and add some friends and followers. Now we're going to talk about making money with it, which is what we're trying to do here. It's uh, the approach is, if you think about it, what I'm about to tell you is common sense, but hardly anyone actually um, does this that is trying to make money using this social media platform. Uh, because if you go into social media with the goal of uh, making money, a lot of people end up going about it completely the wrong way. But for those who get on it, just for fun to be social they're doing it the right way usually and so whenever the profit motive gets involved everything gets skewed and so we kinda have to go back through this for business owners who are trying to build a brand on the on the social media um, platform on the internet um, we have to kinda go back through the natural process of how to make this work and to start off with I'd like to tell you about the 80-20 rule 80% of what you write on Twitter and using TweetDeck um, and up here at the top is where you actually post your tweets that you write. Twitter only gives you a certain amount of uh, characters to type, 140. If you go over that, you can't type anymore, so just keep it short and sweet. But 80% of it needs to be original, interesting content that people will value and find very uh, interesting, funny, or uh, or even ha has some type of shock value to it something that people will appreciate reading that needs to be eighty percent of it and ideally if you can make that about something that surrounds your industry what you're selling uh, that's even better uh, but it, it doesn't always have to be like that the good thing about twitter is you could be into several different things and you can write about several several different things and it makes total sense to everybody because uh, when you create your Twitter profile picture instead of using your company brand name or logo um, like if you're a dog groomer instead of putting a dog on there if you put your big ugly mug smiling that's the best thing you can do people like to follow other people they like to know you're a person you're not a robot you're not some brand management company that's has a bunch of clients but you are an actual person that's who they want to follow and you want a lot of followers and so you need to put your big ugly mug on there preferably smiling or something uh, but smiling works really well and uh, there's a couple on on my uh, tweet deck account there's actually a few different people that have a, a really good profile picture of their face and uh, not too many people really smiling too much but uh, at least have your uh, your face on there now um, so 80% of it highly interesting uh, content vi uh, that has a, a, a very uh, um, wide appeal and then 20% of it you can actually promote your product that you're trying to sell and actually plug yourself and the currency what I call the currency involved here is goodwill you want your goodwill among your list the people that are following you that's considered your list you want to have a continuous high amount of goodwill and you can deplete that and when you deplete that that's like depleting your currency you don't want to deplete your goodwill and by the way you keep your goodwill high is by keeping that 80 20 rule 80 percent of it where you're not self-promoting it's good quality content and you're just simply speaking to people uh, about what they would like to hear so you're really considering your audience and what they like to hear and making it interesting and not boring um, and remaining normal to some degree and then 20 percent you are plugging either your product or somebody else's but you're doing it you're also doing it in a very interesting valuable way that people will appreciate so even the 20 percent of the time when you're self-promoting you, you still want to come across as much as possible as offering something of extreme value um, and not something where you're leading people down suckers alley where they're going to end up buying something uh, that's a complete and total scam so it, the things you offer to sell 
need to be of high value. The things you write about need to be of high value. The thing is, you need to just stay above the above board, and 80% of the time, you need to not be self-promoting in any way. Um, the other aspect to this is, as you're reviewing your fr what your friends are saying, you're looking at mentions that other people have, where they've written you back publicly, and you're looking in your search topic that that is related to your industry. You look for things where you can kind of introduce yourself into someone's conversation. And I just saw something that was kind of uh, kind of funny earlier in my column to the right here. And let's see if I can find it again. Uh, let's see here. It may have gone past pretty quickly. Um, let's see here. I'm scrolling down through here. Okay, is a brownfield joke in here somewhere? Uh, High-rise buildings could use toilets to generate electricity. Now that's that's pretty funny. It's pretty interesting, and I've never heard of such a thing before. And so, what you could do is you could kind of, you could uh, re click on reply to that conversation, and you could and you could say something like, uh, uh, let's see. Um, I could actually this working. I could actually see this working. You have natural gas. Whoop. Natural gas and uh and uh physics at work here. Create energy. And so, you know, I'm, I think it's funny, but I'm just writing something back that where I've obviously read what he's had to say, and and uh, it just it's kind of it, it's funny, and I'm just posting something that's relevant to what he's saying. And by being a part of his conversation, he's going to really appreciate that. Think about if you're on Twitter for the first time and you're writing stuff, and months go by and no one's even responded to a single thing you said. Now, if you got if you write something and someone responds back something relevant to what you have said, they're actually reading what you say. Uh, you're going to really appreciate that, and you're probably going to follow that person. And what's great when you reply to something that somebody else has said, every friend in their list is going to, or if they if they're following what's going on at the time, they're going to see that reply that you sent to him. And they may want to follow you so they can be in both conversations, so they can see what he says, and in the future they can see anything that you have to say as well. And so that pretty much will accomplish the task of um, of this whole TweetDeck Twitter thing and making money that you still are, will need to find a product to sell in your industry or promote. But that's how you get this thing going. And what you'll find is as you are engaged in other people's conversations as you're searching out your industry and adding people in that industry um, your friend list will grow and it will start to grow uh, virally without your assistance just by uh, contributing to other conversations and you want to add people add friends uh, every day but you don't want to you don't want to go uh, you don't want to follow more than 10 percent of your uh, uh, the total f followers in your list if you go beyond that um, then it starts to look a little off kilter so you want to keep it about 10 percent add 10 percent of your your total tally of followers um, each day and, and just don't go beyond that and that way people won't think you're a spammer and you, of course you don't want to be a spammer but they'll just see as a normal person where you're following people they're following you and everything looks good and thanks for listening to me today. I hope this helps get you started and look forward to another video to come that goes in a little bit more detail on how to make money using this thing called Twitter and TweetDeck. Thanks for listening.